82 is good to 73 making another episode of Knife Talk, and today I'll be talking about what makes a good EDC knife. This is uh, totally my opinion, so if you feel any different, go ahead and post up. Now for me, there's a few things that I look for when I'm looking for a knife that would be good for EDC. Um, first off, for me, I prefer a knife with a good clip, you know? And by good clip, I mean something that holds to my pocket pretty easily, and something that will... Um, that doesn't show too much knife, you know, it doesn't have to be a total deep carry low rider clip, but uh, and I don't like shiny clips as well, I mean, if it's really like polished clip it'll catch people's eye and whatever. So clips that I think are pretty good, I think the clip on the 0550 is pretty good, I think the clip on the Sebenza is fantastic, I think the clip on the Para 2 is pretty good. Um, the clip on the military is also pretty good, and um, the clip on the clip on the tilt is also all right. Now these are all knives that uh, I do EDC, depending on the situation, and um, to me they're all knives that I would feel satisfied carrying this as my only main knife. You know, just just in my only one hand opener. You know, I usually I'll pair any of these up with um, either a smaller knife or with like my Leatherman Juice or Victorinox Cadet but um, basically I would be comfortable carrying any of these knives and I have my reasons I mean things I also look for um, in an EDC folder would be slimness this way you know in this direction narrowness I guess you could say I like a wide blade but the overall package of the knife you know if it's super super wide then it's I mean, even, I think it's kind of funny, because a lot of the knives I gravitate towards are wider, for whatever reason. Like, another knife that I do carry occasionally is the uh, Voyager, and that's pretty wide. But, um, basically, I mean, when you get a knife that's really wide in this dimension, it'll be kind of hard to get your hand to your pocket, you know, so something that's narrow is always good, you know, like, narrower the better. But not too narrow, because I like, you know, you need to have something to hold on to. The Sebenza is really good at fitting a lot of blade into a fairly narrow package. The blade on that is actually pretty nice and wide. Um, other things to look for would be how thick the handle is. You know, like the, uh, the 0550 I've been carrying recently is a lot thicker than the Sebenza in the military, both of which these two are very slim. You know, I prefer something that's slimmer in my pocket. You know, basically I like something that's big in terms of length. Like something like the military, where it's long, it's kind of thin this way, but it still has a good thickness blade, and um, lightweight. Like the military only weighs like 4.2 ounces, which isn't bad at all. So when you get into that kind of weight, um, it's good because, uh, I mean, you don't want to have a knife that feels like a brick in your pocket. You're just not going to carry it, you know. I guess you can get used to anything, but... In my opinion, when you get north of like six, six or seven ounces, you tend to feel the knife more than it weighs four. You know, granted, I mean, if I like a knife a lot, like the 0550, I'll still carry it. It is a heavy knife, but I've been enjoying carrying it re recently. In terms of blade length, I tend to look for something that's, if we're talking one knife and one knife only, 3.25 inches is probably about as small as I'll go unless I'm uh, restricted by laws, and um, I don't carry anything larger than 4 inches. So 3.25 to 4, and like 3.5 to 3.75 is ideal, in my opinion, for me, for my uses. You know, like the Spyderco Military is a great knife, that's on the longer side. The Alarge Sebenza is like 3.7 inches, which is right in the butter zone, and it's a great size for a single knife. It's, I mean, it's not too small, not too big, it's just right. And um, other things that I look for is just how menacing the knife looks. I mean, and some people won't care. You know, they'll say, well, if it's under the legal length, I don't care. Now, at the end of the day, it's like, if I, oh, sorry about that bump. If I decide to carry my tilt, you know, I have to think to myself, well, I should probably carry something else with it because I don't want to take this out and cut something. Like, if I have to cut something and you whip this out, it's going to scare people, you know, I mean, it looks kind of menacing. You have to think like a, like a non-knife net would. Imagine seeing somebody whip this out. You'd be scared, you know. They'd be scared, I should say, not you. 
the viewer in this video. But something like the Sebenza, which in my opinion, it looks more like a tool. You know, it's more like a, it's styled more like a tool, so you're not going to be as scared of it. So, I mean, overall, a knife that would, that for me is an ideal EDC is something with all those characteristics. You know, how it carries, you know, how heavy it is, how thick it is, how it looks in terms of menacingness. Um, I like good blade steel as well. You know, for a main knife, like all these are pretty good. That's 30V, that's 35VN, Vanax, 75. So anything with good edge retention. And then um, tight lockup too. I mean, blade play bothers me. So like a titanium frame lock on the Sebenza is pretty much perfect. So for me, that's why I, I gravitate towards the Sebenza a lot for my main EDC. Mainly because it has a lot of the characteristics that I look for in an EDC knife. And lately, I've been carrying my 0550 as well. It's been getting pocket time, probably because it's newer. I tend to carry my newer knives, you know, they get more uh, pocket time, they sort of flavor the month. But I like the 0550 because of its heftiness, you know, its ergonomics are really good. It doesn't look super threatening in my opinion. You know, I feel like I, I could take this out and, and cut something if I had to and just get it back. It has the titanium frame lock, which is my favorite lock. The clip is awesome and it carries pretty deep. Um, Blade shape is awesome. I mean, it's a really, it's one of those knives where, in my opinion, it's better than the sum of its parts. So, I mean, lately, I've been carrying my, this and my Sebenza a lot with the tilt thrown in there occasionally. So, I mean, that's what I've been carrying recently. So, you can see that, like, the type of knives that uh, I like. You know, I know other people have their own preferences. Like, they want to carry something really tiny and lightweight. For me, I like something a bit more substantial. You know, you never know what'll happen, and I'd rather have something lengthwise like a Sebenza like this, as opposed to like a uh, a Dragonfly by Spyderco. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you uh, found my criteria for an EDC knife interesting. Uh, if you have different criteria, feel free to share, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.